guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another brush pack video and because Inktober is in full swing I have decided to do kind of an ink based brush procreate thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm basically going to be trying out this brush pack that Design Cuts has to offer uh, with ink brushes in. Now at the moment Design Cuts have actually got this whole Inktober bundle where you get absolutely tons and tons of stuff but what I'm going to be trying today is just the separate ink procreate brushes based on China ink samples by Mix KS. So that's what I'm going to be using today. It looks really, really fun. I love to try and emulate traditional work digitally. People are probably like, well, Catherine, why don't you just do it traditionally in the first place? But it's not as convenient and it's just fun trying to create those traditional textures on appropriate. Something that you can just like shot in your bag and ha like walk around with rather than having like a tub of inks and paintbrushes and a sketchbook. Just having it on your iPad. It's amazing. The 21st century. It's freaking wicked. Let's try it out and see if we can kind of emulate the textures and see kind of what it looks like. Uh, a little disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video at all, but I do work with Tom, uh, who is a friend of mine who owns Design Cuts, so he's kindly offered this brush pack up for me for free to try out. So thank you very much, Tom, for that. And the link I'll leave in the description for the Inktober brush pack bundle, which is on offer and you save quite a bit of money with that, and the Inktober brush pack that I'm going to be using which is around $10 on the site at the moment um, I will leave it in the description and the comments and that is an affiliate link which means I get a little bit of commission if you guys want to check it out so yeah let's just get straight into the video have a go at using these brushes okay so I've literally went ahead and downloaded I'm gonna plug this in why I'm trying to I've literally went ahead and downloaded that brush pack and honestly you get so many brushes so the first thing that I've downloaded is the stamps and things like that so it's just like the stamps that you can put on and it'll kind of add like an ink effect then we've got loads of um china ink brushes and glazes and then further down we've got ink washes so look at all these i don't think i'm gonna get a chance to use every single one of these um in this video but <laughs> we can try i mean the thing that helped as well they also supplied some paper in the pack like some paper textures uh, which are just down here so I'm thinking of adding maybe a paper texture like this and that might help in expanding it and that might help give me that really natural looking it's just so fun to try and make digital work natural at least I think it's fun and I'm gonna use black because I don't normally so let's just try out one of these stamps Oh, that's pretty cool so these are the stamps so as you can see they don't flow it is just purely like used for textures and stuff so they're pretty cool they're pretty cool then these are brushes and we've got some glaze brushes here whoa oh my gosh that's so cool it really does look like ink wow nice so that is the china brush 8 and then we've got the brush 8 glazed which is obviously you could go in for like a color or something and then what are these other ones we've got so many we've got like brush 8 brush brush 7 brush 6 whoa look at that like little texture there I don't know if you can see this let's expand it like look at how it added that that is really really cool and then it's got glazed again so oh wow oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with this illustration this one's more like it's bleeding out it reminds me a bit of the gouache but um with better tapered ends I mean that looks really cool how many times do I want to say cool in this video so I'm gonna sketch using one of the china brushes maybe the china brush 8 I'm gonna turn my 
thing down. I'm going to keep that paper texture in the background because I, I just think that's going to really add um, like a nice touch. But let's illustrate something that's Halloween-y. not the best sketch I've ever done but it's just like a student witch type of setup and I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna ink first which is something that I don't normally do but uh, I'm gonna try and use it as I would if I was actually inking with real ink and what I would do if I was doing that situation is I'd probably ink before I painted it in uh, so I'm gonna try um, I'm gonna try doing that first need to change my battery pack for the second camera so I'm going to go in with black, something that I don't normally do, so this might end up looking quite different to what I'm used to, so I wonder what one I should use for inking. And let's have a look, I kind of like the textures on brush 7, let's have a look what that looks like. I need to open a new layer. Yeah, I'm going to raise it up a little bit and let's just ink in it. It's got a really nice texture. I don't know if you can, if that's showing up, but can you see that texture that it's got? It's really nice. I'm going to make some lines a bit thicker than others just to give it that inky feel because often when you use like an inking brush or something some lines would be thicker than others so I'm just going to go in and thicken some, some lines up. ribbon bit here to stick out of the hat a little bit more then I'm gonna go in and darken some areas up this brush is really nice I really love this texture can you see the texture in it if I zoom in close of the hair strands and stuff looks really really cool Okay, so I think I've got the main outlines done and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new layer for the colour washes and I think I'm going to use a glazed brush 6 first and I'm going to make the hat black and use this glazed brush. I'm just going to turn that off and colour this hat in and kind of leave some white of the hat so the texture looks more authentic. So leave some of the paper showing through the hat. So I've still got the colour on black, I'm not using grey or anything, I'm just basically light pressing very very lightly and building the colour up. Seven glazed looks nice, Whoa. oh my gosh, whoa look at that. That is so cool, but I think I need to turn the brush down a little bit. It's quite a large. What I might do is I might colour it and then ooh, clean it up. I can't believe how cool this looks. <gasps> this is so cool. Nice. Let's just clean up the sides of the face. It's probably uh, the only thing is those glaze brushes are very big um, so that's on the minimum size setting 
I'm gonna just make it a bit darker. Oh my gosh, this texture is amazing. where I would normally add cheeks and shadows I'm going to just darken the jeans up because I feel like the jeans are too dark, uh, too light so I'm going to darken them up now what I think I'm going to do is I want to try some of those stamps like behind her adding like stamp details uh, so let's give these a go and see, oh, see what they look like. So can you raise the size of these? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Don't know about you. It's a really high quality texture as well. They're a little large actually for that. I'm just going in with the China brush ink again. Uh, the China brush at number eight. I'm just gonna define some lines i think I, the best one i liked for line out was further down here because you can get them more thin so slightly thinner so i'm assuming the higher you go up the kind of darker they get my anatomy is totally off of this leg <laughs> your leg wouldn't twist like that i mean it might but Let's just ignore it and pretend it hasn't happened. For the final touch, I think I'm going to do like a shadow underneath her using one of the washes. I don't know if I've used... Ooh, look at these ones down here. Ink wash one glazed. What does that look like? Whoa! Nice. I think I'm going to stop there before I ruin anything. <laughs> yeah that's the final result i actually think it turned out all right it's not the greatest thing i've ever done but it's not too bad and i do think i've emulated some natural textures and things like that so yeah okay so what do you think i think it turned out pretty cool to be honest like i really like the textures i'm actually surprised with how good the textures actually are obviously the illustration is just a quick illustration it's took me like what 30 40 minutes it's just a really quick um doodle experimenting with the brushes and stuff but I, I think it's kind of accomplished what i wanted it to accomplish it's fun to see how my style adapts using different tools whether those tools be brushes or different mediums um, and i feel like it's a different medium when it's on procreate because i've tried to use them as i would ink so yeah it's just been really really fun and the textures are amazing I love those paper, that paper pack that you get with it. I will definitely use that again, I think. But I like to add colour to my background normally, so it would be nice to add that paper pack over the top and select multiply or colour burn so that it burns the colour through and then maybe reduce the opacity down. I think that would be really, really nice. But the textures themselves are really high quality and yeah, I just really enjoyed this pack. I like the stamps as well. I actually illustrated this on an A4 canvas uh, with 300 dpi and I like expanded the stamps and stamped them down and the detail was still really, really um, good on them. So yeah really really enjoy trying this out and seeing what it looks like oh the mailman's here <laughs> mailman just came so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching let me know if you want to see more uh, procreate brush packs i am going down on this chair can you see <laughs> so uh, let me know if you want to see more like this i've been really enjoying this procreate series because Prior to this, I was just using the normal Procreate brushes and since using different brushes, it's just, yeah, it's up my game so much and it's just so fun to try out new things. When I used to illustrate primarily on Photoshop, I used to always install brush packs like the Kyle Mega Pack brush packs and use things like that. So now that Procreate has that option, it's just really, really cool and I really, really like it. So if you have any recommendations as well for brushes let me know i have heard that the bad door brushes are really really good so i'd like to try them out at one point uh, but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching guys 
If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That would be freaking amazing. I would love to have you as part of the fam. And yeah, I will see you very, very, very soon. All right then. Thanks for watching. Love you. Goodbye.